made it to Laguna Seca. This is a raceway. This whole week is Monterey Car Week. Oh, look at that R8. I think I'm getting sick. So there's a bunch of cars all over Monterey. If you guys have never been to a racetrack, there you go. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to go in. Old Beamer, I think. But look at that, we're all the way up. This is the Mazda Raceway. Shouts out Mazda. I wonder if you need a pass or something. If you do, I'm gonna do a straight U-turn. Look at babe. What's up, man? You need pass to come in? Yeah, today's the ticket of day. So okay. Looking to buy a ticket or? No, that's all right. I'm just, I'll just do a U-turn right here. Sounds good, man. Yep, you need a pass. Let's just go to Monterey supercar hunting. We're on the good old Ninja 500 today. Hopefully you guys can hear me. This thing's freaking loud. It shoots backfires like crazy. Speed wobble, oh my gosh. We saw a Ferrari, we saw an Audi R8. I'll get back to you guys once I'm there. Quick little story. I was with my friends this one time inside a car. We see the people in front of us get their car stolen. It was pretty crazy. Up ahead right there in that body of water, you could rent out some ducks or you could just ride them. Look at that Volkswagen. That's where you rent out ducks. Oh my gosh. If I were to have a babe, this is where I would want to live with her. Oh, look at that thing. It was stretched out, just like my ex. That was inappropriate. We are about to pass through a really big tunnel. You know I'm gonna make this thing back shot like crazy. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow is the day where there's supposed to be a lot of cars in Cannery Row. Swerve like a little fish. Loudness. the beach leaves as soon as you get close to the beach you can feel the coldness Ugh. I'm sitting on the tank longboarding with crypto through here would be really dangerous that's awesome I also want to go to San Francisco and do it this is Cannery Row this is where all the cars are gonna be here tomorrow oh blondie look at that hot rod that is crazy don't you need a helmet for that or something hey he owes me child support where? Redhead on another level. I want you guys to go down to the comments and let me know what your favorite car of all time is. I've always been attracted to the Audi R8. I think it looks really sexy. I think that's like the second R8 that I've seen in person. I just fell in love with it again. If I was to own any supercar, I would own the Audi R8. If I wanted speed, I would get a Nissan GTR. That's the fastest, cheapest car you can get. A Corvette would also be pretty fast. Whoa, downtown to the left. There is a lot of Porsche. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just pretty much cruising around. I am on the Ninja 500 today. This thing has a full aftermarket Acrovic exhaust system. It actually does shoot flames. I'm so used to living close to the ocean. I've always lived pretty close to the ocean. It's nothing special to me, but I know some of you guys probably haven't really seen one in person. To me, that just seems crazy. Like I was saying about the atmosphere of the beach, it gives off a really specific scent. The scent kind of reminds me of seagulls. Is that a Rolls Royce? Right in front of me. Ferrari right there. Oh, look at him going golfing. There's cars in there. These views can sometimes be the best views. Would you just look at that? Oh, look at this. That's like some Jeepers Creepers type stuff. It just smells like ocean. It might be the seaweed. It might be the salt water. It might be the whale sperm, but it just smells really good. The deeper you go, the more beautiful the water turns. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure if a cop was ever hear me just throttle it, I'm pretty sure I'll get pulled over because this thing's extremely loud. 
Rocks are always good, right? So we stopped our hunt. Oh, there's dogs on leash. I say we try and go extremely deep onto the rocks. Hopefully that thing on the lens wasn't wasn't too annoying. Hopefully it didn't just ruin all my freaking footage. I remember watching a uh, Spicy 110's video of him just going to the ocean and like, oh, what is that, man? What the hell is that? I don't know. Ugh. Him just going to the ocean and like picking out stuff. It was pretty cool. I enjoyed it. Spicy 110. This one's for you, man. He's been on YouTube for a really long time and he doesn't have a lot of subs. I don't know why. I forget where he's from, but he drives on the other side of the lane. So you know he's foreign. Let's try and find a starfish. Ugh. Okay, that hurt. Oh, geez. Ah, what a beautiful day. Let's get a Snapchat for the snap. If there was like a fish, I would like straight up go for it and try to cook it. Just make a catch and cook video real quick. Hope you guys are enjoying this view. If you guys aren't from the ocean, if you guys aren't mermaids, let's try to go right there. That looks really nice. These are skating shoes, so they're really thin. Every time I jump on a rock, it hurts. Oh, look at that. Look how clear that water looks. I've always wanted to go snorkeling. If you were to dive in there, that current would be insane. There's probably like little ripples that try to drown you and stuff. But I mean, it's not that deep. We didn't really find that many uh, supercars. But hey, we found this super moistness, right? I did go to the lake with Crypto, but I didn't really get to swim. Just because Crypto was so worried about me. I could tell by his face that he, he was like trying to save me. That's the only reason he would dive in. The problem with that was that he would scratch the shit out of me because he was he was just doggy paddling. I had like a couple big scratches on my neck. I think these rocks just cancel all the waveness. Cold water is really good for your skin. If you shower with cold water, you'll be way more awake. So if you find yourself lazy, hop in the shower, take a cold ass bath, and trust me, it'll wake your ass up. It also tightens your skin, ladies. Oh. Let's get going to this car. I'm hitting the VTEC. Oh, geez. Gotta love lane splitting. I see a Viper right there, a green one. I would have thought there would have been way more cops, but there wasn't really that many cops. Look at this dude, it's on the right side. What a beast. Looks like he's passed out. Little coop, dick shift. Ooh, that's the whip. What is that? Oh, thank you Z, you're so sweet. Oh, whenever I'm lane splitting, I always put my feet down just to get a little bit more balance. And if I was to tip over, I could just put my feet down. Lane splitting's always fun. I'm really grateful that I live in Cali just because of it. I cannot picture myself waiting in traffic. That would be so freaking horrible. Three lane splitters, uh, dangerous. I hope you guys enjoyed this Monterey trip. Watch out for cars that want to pull out. Is this guy going to turn? You never want to lane split faster than you can stop. Quick little fact about my hometown. If you guys know the comedian George Lopez, he actually owns a house right up here. That's the house right here. That's a nice ass house, man. Feel free to follow my Snapchat and my Instagram at KZE underscore production.